Yo, what's poppin'? Hey, it's your boy, Caleb Dunbar, the CEO of Kingship Mindset. I got a banger for you guys. This is going to be the sex crash lesson. I'm going to give you an accelerated version of exactly what sex is, how you go about the stage and stuff like that. I'm trying to put you guys on. So let's get right on into it. So I am a rated arts intimacy advisor. The reason why I call myself that, the reason why I have that title, you know, I didn't give myself that title is because all the gems I've given to so many people. But let me even break it down a little bit more about me. You know, after losing my virginity, you know, when I was 19, I actually hired three sex coaches. There was three legendary sex coaches at the time. It was actually going to be Gabriel Moore, Bobby Shaw, and Bobby Rio. And I was just flooded with knowledge. But, you know, one thing about knowledge, knowledge means nothing if you without knowing how to apply it or without applying it. So because of my military background, I was blessed to be able to um, have intimacy with a, with a countless amount of women. I was able to apply those things. And because of that, you know, when I came back to the States and, you know, getting back more settled in within myself, I realized, hmm. How can I go about this nowadays? And that's the secret I'm going to give you guys at the end of this actual, the end of actually this, this crash course, or should I say the crash lesson, it's going to be the secret on how I actually built up into a 5 one rotation. So stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's get into exactly what you guys are going to actually learn in this lesson. So the table of content. You got to actually know what sex is. A lot of people don't even know what sex is. They, even, <laughs> they never even ask themselves that question, which is crazy to me. And when I ask a woman, when I ask a guy, I'm like, yo, what is sex to you? Oh, man, I don't, I don't really know. And, like, so imagine if you actually applied yourself on what it is, you start to realize it. And also the benefits of sex. And also the five stages of sex that this is my personal five stages of sex that I want to give you guys. And of course, the secret that I'm going to give at the end. And also some, some more gems at the end. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Let's get right on into it. So let's get it. I hope you're ready to take some notes because this shit is about to be crazy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what is sex? The act of emotional bonding to mentally stimulation combined with physical touch of yourself and or two people or more for sexual pleasure. And of course, typically, you know, involving general, general, oral and anal contact. So sex, you know, is actually this is the definition directly. If you never know what sex was and actually start to realize like, wow, sex is um OK. Sex is just not just physical touch. It's a lot of combination of the things. So definitely take note of that. Now, the next step. These are the benefits of sex. People don't even know the benefits of sex. But the thing about it is this is quality sex as well as that. You know, basic sex, it don't cover a lot of things. But, you know, if you actually go into sex and educated and understand these things, which I'm about to break it down to you right now, a dope, dope, dope crash lesson on it. These are the benefits of it. You know, lowers your blood pressure. You know, of course, and I dated a woman who had, you know, type 1 diabetes and stuff. And, you know, whenever we indulge ourselves with intimacy, she always was just calm and collected at the end. You know, that's how they be. Counselors exercises, boy, I be sweating my ass off whenever we having sex. But you know, hey, when you fit or whenever you ain't work out today, sex is exercise. Improve sleep. I think it's a thing after the club, you know, after you have sex at the club, I'll be knocked the fuck out. But you know, anyways, it improves sleep because you're just tired, exhausted, released a lot of fluids and things. So it makes sense. Ease of stress. That's an interesting one, you know, because <laughs> there's so many times whenever I had sex or whenever you mad at somebody, stuff like that, you, you want to take the stress out on somebody or you want to let them take the stress out on you. That's how it be sometimes. Happier mood. I would hope you're in a happier mood. I don't know. Nowadays, you know, people are not satisfied sexually because they have a big picture of what it is. And the big picture is based upon porn, movies, scenes and all the stuff I got. So that's the biggest thing that I want to evolve you guys with this actual lesson. When I actually evolve how to make you know, sex more pleasing, actually understand it. Str stronger, you know, strengthens their relationship that currently with the woman or the man, whoever you're nodding with, and even more so, um, and much more, you know, this is just a little glance about the benefits to sex. But of course, there's so much things sex can do. But without further ado, let's get right on into it. The stages of sex, all these are considered a part of the sexual experience. Now, this is my take on exactly the stages of sex. And this is how I evolved in understanding when I've um, been able to indulge with a woman sexually um, with intimacy and things in the nature, I understood the stages of it. And by understanding these stages, this is why I was able to differentiate myself from any other guy they indulge with, but even more so how I leave an everlasting mark because it took the time to actually understand stages. So first stage, first stage, messages and calls. It's all about the mind, brother. It's all about the mind, brother. And sis, but not so much women, because the guys need to know this stuff more so. Because nowadays, women are not fully fulfilled in sex. So, you know, they're not fulfilled. But guys didn't haven't been able to educate themselves to understand the stages. So the first stage is messages and calls. How you message her 
it's the biggest thing. You know, how you call her when you call her, how do you, those things are the biggest thing. If your plan is to have sex with her, if your plan is to have indulgence with her at the end of the day or whenever the next time you see her sometime. Sometimes I understand it can be sporadic. You know, sometimes you don't call and like that. You want to be an animalistic shit. I'm saying that. But for me, wise, understanding the stages where I'm at whenever I'm talking to a woman or how I'm feeling and stuff like that, it's good. So the message that you do, you know, what do you text her? Like, hey, you know, you're trying to get us in trouble later? Or, hey, you know, what's going on with you today? Mm, you know, seems like you're having a long day. Let me eat some of that. Let me eat some of that stress off of you. You know, texts or calls, you know, checking in with her, showing that you care stuff. Because a woman needs to be stimulated mentally, as we've seen the definition of it. And with that stimulation mentally, she feels like you care. Or she understands, like, oh, I don't know what's going to come. So the biggest thing with messaging the calls is to predict the unability, the unpredictability. <laughs> predict the un be unpredictable. Damn it. Be unpredictable. But even more so, have an objective whenever you're messaging and calls. An objective is you want to get her stimulated. You want to get her ready for something that you got planned. Maybe you plan it out for a dinner at the end, end of the day, or whenever she gets off work. You want to kind of have some spice going on with the messaging and calls. But I can give you more of that stuff detail. This is a crash, crash lesson. Second stage, the foreplay. Foreplay, obviously, it counts as messaging and calls, too. Those things can be foreplay. But this is more so translated over to physical physical foreplay. And, you know, if you're not really educated on how to understand to go about fit foreplay, here's a quick, quick glance about, it. you know, take your time. You know, a lot of men, whenever, you know, the dick get hard, unfortunately, say all bets are off. I'm trying to get him in there and get to get, feel you. But that's the problem, brother. You know, the thing about it is that's any other guy, every guy, majority of guys don't take their time. Bro, take your fucking time. The thing about it is that what makes me so different every time a woman indulges me and because I've been on all this information, I was 19. I take my time and I understand every time I'm about to have a, an experience and because it's more so for the woman, I want to create a masterful movie. I'm the fucking director. And I understand how to be a director. Hey, I educated myself. If A quick glance. If you're going to watch porn or things of that nature, watch how women on women take their time for playing each other. Watch how they kiss each other in the Roger's zones. Watch how they actually warm they actually warm each other up. So guys, if you don't understand how to do about fucking foreplay, bro, Educate yourself. Be more so I can give you some gems on that. And the gems right now is more so take your fucking time. All women are not ready. And especially if you're doing a message and calls, right? How the fuck are you going to be ready? <laughs> so it's not always about that, bro. Foreplay is everything. Emotional stimulation, kissing her all over her body, you know, massaging, you know what I'm saying? Having the music on and stuff like that, talking to her, enjoying her vibe and stuff like that. Oh, that's considered a foreplay. And of course, I got other gems one on one, but it's more so a crash lesson, brother. Crash lesson. And of course, the third stage, intercourse. This is when you actually start to indulge with each other more, more physically, you know, get into the twines of the fluids and stuff like that. So to the intercourse part, let me give you some quick gems on that. Think about what these toys are doing for women. Guys don't really take the time to understand this. What are these toys doing? Vibrate, different patterns, different pressures, different rhythms, and all this thing like that, guy. What is that telling you, bro? If you're going to have intercourse with her you need to understand the different modes that you need to go into to adapt to her body you have to understand those things and also too it's not always about penetrating her sometimes it's about rolling your hips sometimes it's about going side to side sometimes it's about staying at the tip sometimes it's about staying deep and going pounding mode all these variations whenever you actually indulge with her changes how she feels about everything even more so how you open her legs, close her legs, the different positions. And a quick gem about understanding different intercourse positions. Bro, what is the average three position everybody have sex in? Doggy style, cowgirl, missionary, and of course, six nine. By not doing those three things, bro, she going to be like, yo, what, what sex is this? This is different because it's not the routine. Her body doesn't know what to expect. So that's a quick glance at the intercourse and what you can actually apply yourself. And of course, the next stage. Fourth stage, the climax and orgasm. I don't know fucking why. Now when they, this is the most lost art stage of it all. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> the thing about it is that, bro, it's like for me, I'm going to give you my gem on how I go about this and then saying how I, how I really mastered this in a, in a matter of understanding how important this is. If you're able to make a woman climax and orgasm from the first time you indulge in intimacy with her, and even more so every single time, you automatically get from other guys. Because you actually took the time to understand her and break it down. For me, typically, when I indulge a woman the first time up, I never I never come because it's not about me. I make sure I understand her body completely. I have default mechanisms of how I go about the sex. You know, I might be kinky this time. I might be sexy this time. You know, um, I might be dirty this time. I might be filthy. You know, I might be smooth. I might make love. All this stuff is different modes. But the thing about it is that you need to understand the mode for that woman's body and how it's going to actually go about the climax or, and orgasm her. And in those moments, it's all about the motion. So let's say whenever you're, you know, going in with the woman and stuff like that, 
and she tells you not to stop, you know, stay right there. Typically, guys fucking switch the mode. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Don't switch the fucking mode. Stay there. And if you want to amplify that rhythm and do something more, start the multitask. Do some stuff with your hands, like play with her titties. Or put your hand on her, her throat gently. You know what I'm saying? Start to mix up in that. But whatever you're doing pounding-wise, stay there. Because you don't understand. And remember that motion that you're doing. Okay, cool. This is the position. This is the mode. Got it. You know, hey, I want to do another position. And let me see if that's the same rhythm that's going to actually make her come again. Oh, damn, this position and what I'm doing is not going to make her come. Hmm, let me switch up my whole mode. Let me go with the rhythm. Let me, let me not thrust. Let me actually roll my hips. Let me go inside out. Let me stay at the tip in, in, in front of her actual uh, vagina entrance because those three inches actually is the most sensitive part. So those things like that. And when that moment comes, bro, maximize that moment and, and completely slow down and stop. And let her really grasp this moment of climax and then that moment of intimacy. And then you slowly go back up in the build up. But that's a glance on that. Of course, you know, this is more of a crash lesson, but I'll give you more gems later. And of course, the fifth stage, I call it the avatar born, ABC. <laughs> I call it the ABC, but basically it's just a cuddle. So after you had a good, you know, session, a good time, a good mold with her and a good experience, and stuff like that, you can tell she did. Sometimes she'd just be frozen in, 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 in place, you know, like, oh my God. This is everything. I've taken some women's souls. Beside the point. But anyways, uh, in, the, in the point of this, this is the most important part. And I say the Avatar born. Because in the movie, whenever that dude was fighting that little flying thing, and once he got connected with the, you know, with the hair thing, whatever shit they call it, um, they had to fly to solidify the bond. What a, right after sex, you know, that's the most keyest point. If she's going to feel used or appreciated or respected, typically guys get up after they got theirs and she got hers. And you go to the bathroom and like, you fuck up the whole mode, bro. How about you stay right there and enjoy each other, be naked, you know, actually touch each other and laugh, have fun. And of course, they got exclusive booklets on some dope questions to ask to actually amplify that moment. But that cuddle point, that's the most deepest part. And that cuddle point, of course, even if you're out in the streets, you know, one night stands, whatever like that, bro. Fuck all that, man. Fuck all that. This is actually what solidifies like, damn, I actually want to get back with this guy. Damn, I actually want to indulge this guy again. So this is like, that's, and I can tell you some other things that goes around the psyche at the moment, but. That's a glance of it. And then, of course, like I told you guys, I want to give you guys a secret on how I actually grew a rotation whenever I was in the game more more often and stuff like that. The biggest thing was, bro, honesty is not overrated. I'm a blunt. I'm a blunt dude, bro. And because I'm so blunt and bold with it, I'm like, look, bro, this is this is me. This is who I am. Hey, look, I'm not looking for anything like that. But I think you're a very beautiful woman. I would love to get intimacy with you personally and stuff like that. But. You know, I just don't do that with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not for the streets type of vibes. And I don't know who you are. So let's have lunch and dinner first. Let me actually grasp who the fuck you are first. Because guess what? I understand as a man and who I am and what I'm building and what I got going for myself. I'm a type of man of the future. One drop of sperm. Not to say I don't want to feel trapped in like that. I'll be about statistics. It's just more so the fact is one one glance of sperm from having a sexual thing. And a woman is not to the, to what I feel is a mother figure and who I would want to have my kids and like that. And I'm not doing that. You know I'm saying so. But in the time when I was in this game, I was understanding honesty was everything. Yes, I'm dating other women. Yes, I'm having um, intimacy with other women stuff. Yes, I clean the fuck up myself. I have condoms. You know what I'm saying? Hey, when she comes over, you don't even know there's another woman. So that's why I said give pure attention to the woman in your presence only. I don't be on my fucking phone, bro. I just be who are, when she's at my crib. It's completely me and her. Fuck the phone thing. I'm laughing. I'm making her funny. Have a good time. Eye contact, eye contact, bro, is like overrated now. I don't even understand, but eye contact, engaging in dope intellectual conversation. And if you don't know how to do an intellectual conversation, you know, download, get the, get my free exclusive book list and tell you some dope questions to ask to build that connection and also reveal that person's personality to you. But having these things right here, bro, it made it so easy for me, bro, because I know how to socialize and know how to ask the right questions, build a, a nice environment that makes her feel like she's been on me for years. And then after all that stuff, all the stages stuff, I got not to understand and master each one, of course. And every woman is different. So, you know, definitely got to go about that. But that's that's basically the secret in understanding honesty, having pure attention. And, of course, combined with all the stations, understanding each one and all the gems I just gave. And, of course, there's more. That's how you build up the rotation. So let me ask you a question, brother. Let me ask you this. Can you actually say your sex life has been a 10 out of 10 since you've been dating? If so, how do you know that? If you're 10 out of 10, how do you know that, bro? Because nowadays, as you can see in social media, women be lying their ass up and they be front. And it's probably sometimes they still deal with the guy because he has something that he can offer her physically or, you know, financially or some things in nature. I don't know. But the thing about it is that how can you truly know you're satisfied? The reason why I know is because I asked the fucking question. 
hey, the reason why I know I actually seen the cream or, you know, the climax and the things that come out of her and how she's feeling afterwards refreshed, you know, stole there, like, damn, she want more and stuff like that. I can know that. But if you can't even honestly tell yourself or you can't even honestly identify if you actually had a great time or she told you that you had a great time, then how do you really know, bro? And if you can't say a confidence in and you don't have, you don't even know, you can't even say that, then guess what, you know? I'm here to transform the sex life for the better, brother. You know, hey, I gave you this dope free, you know, this free crash course lesson. But hey, I won't even give you more, bro, because this is, I can't give too much, brother. I can't give too much. It's just a lot. But you're welcome to hit me up for what I want advice, bro. So it's pretty simple, you know, refer this exclusive lesson. You don't refer it to anybody. Tell somebody else about this, you know what I'm saying? Hey, because this is a quick glance on like, bro, having a time just to focus in. I'm like, you know what? Damn, I'm trying to get better at this. What are some things out there? There's so many things out there. But the thing about it is that, you don't even know which one actually applies to you. You don't even know how to apply the stuff to your situation. So let me save that time for you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, refer to this exclusive course, exclusive lesson. You know, DM me the word crash on my IG or Facebook. My IG is King Shin Mindset on my Facebook, Caleb Dunbar. And, you know, and click the link and schedule a free, you know, brainstorm session with me. On after you DM me, we can schedule that up, bro. Because at the end of the day, bro, I just want to help. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't be making all these lessons for free because... I'm trying to get money. Fuck the money, bro. I'm here to help. <laughs> and of course, you know, having a one-on-one -on -one with me, I can actually help you directly in what you got going on for yourself. The biggest thing about a mentor is the biggest thing is that you're in unfamiliar territory. And to save time and pain and stress and money, all this stuff I like get, talk to people who's familiar in that, who's been in it for years. I'm 27, brother. I'm 27, y'all. And I've been knowing this stuff since I was 19. I was able to apply it all these years. And here I am now with beautiful queens around me. So with that being said, man, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. You have a great day and I hope you took some great notes. Talk to you soon. Take care.